So, quick video. A while ago, I was asked to repair one of these Roland EP75 pianos. The volume slide potentiometer on it was uh, rather scratchy, and when you got to about half volume, one of the audio channels completely cut out. So, unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of the slide potentiometer, but this is a picture of one from the internet. It's exactly the same. However, the one that I had was a bit more rusty and a lot more filthy. So, I took it apart, took the sliding element out, and here's a picture of it. And as you can see, it's quite filthy. So, you can really see that the carbon traces that it slides along have come off and clumped together on the slide contacts, and it's molded together with probably carpet fibers and t-shirt fibers and a couple of dead bugs. So this piano is uh, probably somewhere between 10 and 20 years old. So yeah, it's accumulated quite a lot of trash in it. So I just cleaned it off with a set of tweezers and a tissue soaked in isopropanol alcohol and that cleaned it up pretty good. It's nice and shiny now. And I also bent the contacts back out to give them a bit more spring and a bit more pressure on the tracks. And that did solve the scratchy noise problem when you were sliding it. However, one of the channels was still completely cut out. I had a look at the carbon tracks and one of them was completely worn away. The other one was about to go and that was just from adjusting the volume in that position so much. So as repairing that slide switch was not going to happen, I just went to the internet and bought a new one. Unfortunately, that one had been discontinued, but I found this one that had the same footprint, but it also had a nice dust cover. But where you put the cap on, unfortunately, Unfortunately, it was a different size, but that was solved by just gluing the cap onto it. And this is here is a picture of it affixed in the piano, and that solved it. And hopefully that dust cover will keep out any dust in the future. And doing this really made me realize why a lot of industrial products, especially mixing desks and other things with slide potentiometers, often have the track not mounted upwards, but either 90 degrees or in some cases completely inverted. These things aren't going to let anywhere near as much rubbish in them which will hopefully increase the longevity of the slide switch. So hopefully you found this interesting and thanks for watching.